What's up guys? Here we are in an amazing abandoned school adventure. I promise you guys are gonna love this one. These are my favorite types of abandoned locations. This school has been closed for decades. We're gonna find out once I get home and do some research when this high school, when this school closed. But we're right now in the auditorium. There's a gymnasium. There's so much decay and peeling paint and beautiful natural light. I'm so glad to be here. I've been wanting to come to this abandoned school for so many years. And finally, we're here. I got the chance to come check it out. So let's get right to it, guys. Cue the music, cue the intro. See you guys on the other side. Okay, here we go, guys. We are filming this one in full 4K, high definition. So you guys that are watching on your televisions or on your nice big screen computer monitors can get a good look at all the grime and the decay and all the dust and the dirt. Get a good look in full 4K high resolution. We're starting today in what was once an auditorium and as you look on top here, it looks like they had, uh, they possibly had skylights up there. It's pretty bright. See if I can bring the brightness down for you a bit. There you go. Bring it down and then we're gonna pan down, get a good look at this beautiful room. The stage is really soft. I don't wanna fall through, so I'm not gonna stand on the stage. But uh, where I started here, I really like these only remaining seats that are left in this hall. That's a pretty powerful statement if you ask me. So let's keep going here. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head to the basement first and we'll start from the very bottom floor and work our way to the top. Because right now where we are, we're dead center in the middle of the building. As you can see, there's lots of snow. It's at the dead of winter. It's actually, my birthday road trip, my annual birthday trip, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the, hit the pause button here. I'm gonna head down to the basement and we're gonna start from there. So we'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so here we go. Bottom floor, nice long creepy corridor, open doors with natural light coming out. Check this out. This is pretty cool. We go inside here our way through this door and uh i just love the way the natural light is hitting these urinals you wouldn't think that urinals would be so photogenic but when you got natural light coming in from that window right there here i'll bring the light down for you so you can get a better look there we go bring the light down you can see the color and the textures and then i'll bring it down right there to the urinals there you go isn't that nice? Colors, textures, full 4K, guys. Zoom in if you can. Enjoy that 4K grime and grimy goodness. Okay. In 1916, the local school board acquired land to construct a junior and senior high school. Construction of this junior-senior high school commenced in 1920. The new gymnasium was opened to the public during a boys' basketball game on December 22nd, 1921. However, the new school was not finished until mid-January of 1922, putting this building at an age of just over 100 years old. A larger high school was built on the outskirts of town between 1958 and 1960, and the former building was then repurposed to house grades three through six until the 1970s. While I'm not able to provide an exact date, it does appear that this abandoned school was closed in the 1970s. Over the years, the town has made several attempts at restoration and all have failed. So 
this is your main entrance. This is the front door to the school. And if you look up, it's got this really nice ceiling. Just bring the light down for you. There you go. So you can see it. And then you just come around like this and we'll pan down and square it up real nice. You got a bunch of books on the floor there. There you go. Bring that up there. It's like a church ceiling. I don't know what you would call this. I'm sure you guys know what the name is for this kind of ceiling. But I sure don't. An article from 2022 stated that the village was hoping to receive a Restore New York grant from Empire State Development to reconstruct the old school building. The plan for this building was to transform it into an assisted living senior center with 47 apartments. Of the 47 planned units, 15 were to be set aside for frail elderly people, and 10% of the units were planned specifically for people with mobility impairments, while another few units were planned for people with vision or hearing impairments. I've always wanted to come here in the springtime because all of these trees and shrubs and bushes and things that are growing, they all turn green. And this whole auditorium looks like just nature taking it over. So I'm hoping to come back here someday in the springtime so I can photograph this whole place. Cause all of the, uh, I'll see if I can find somebody's pictures and they'll let me use them if I remember to. And I'll show you guys what this room looks like in the springtime or in the summertime when it's full of green. Okay, moving on here. There's a really old bicycle right here. This is the second one like this that's in the school. That's pretty neat, eh? All rusty and stuff. Okay, another staircase. Every corner has a staircase. Okay, so there's a little there's a classroom here. Most of the classrooms are pretty trashed, so it's not really worth going in the classrooms. But here you can see that's the ceiling right there. <laughs> Pieces of the ceiling all over the floor. Okay. So there is another floor down, but it's flooded. It's down there. And uh, we can't get to it, so that's too bad. So here's another staircase. We'll head up to the next floor now, and see what's going on up there. Okay, I don't know what this room here is. Can't quite figure it out. But it's quite the mess. This place has been abandoned for so long. Okay, so that, I guess that covers that floor. That floor is just that one big room there. So we'll come up to this floor here. 
Turn my light down a little bit. Okay, left or right? Okay, there's a door here. Lots of junk. So we don't need to really worry about that. So let's keep going. A nice little scene right there, eh? I like that. Okay, here we go. Another beauty of a staircase right there. Ooh, that's nice. Let's just do a pan here from the staircase. Down this hallway, and then we'll keep going. This hallway's a bit darker. Let's take a look into some of these classrooms. So here's a entire wall has come down and collapsed. The light fixtures are coming down. Okay, let's keep going, guys. Oh, here is the auditorium from the balcony. Okay, see that? Okay, saw it? Good. There's a really cool classroom right across the hallway here that's different than all the other classrooms. There you go. Isn't that cool? Look at that. These old chairs all busted up. I wonder why this classroom is different than all the other ones. Construction for the project was slated to begin in December of 2022, with the hope that rooms would be able to be rented out sometime in June of 2024. Sadly, just a few weeks ago, in February 2023, the developer of the project walked away, stating, Unfortunately, despite our commitment as a non-profit to take no development fees or money from the project, the dramatically increased renovation costs have made the building and maintenance of this project untenable. Available grants, tax credits, and tax credit rental limits combined could not meet the costs associated with converting this historic school building into affordable homes for seniors. State and local officials are very hopeful that another developer will soon be able to step in to move forward with the project.
going nice and slow today. I hope you guys like the slower pace that I'm taking. Not speeding through. My camera's not zipping to and fro and all over the place. I'm trying to go nice and slow today. So you guys can really take this one in. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Okay, moving right along. That's an old stove right here. Random. Okay, we've done one whole rota rotation, one whole round. So we're gonna go up <clears throat> to the next floor. I think this might be where the gym is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yep, this is the gym. So we'll do the change room first. Hold on a second. Okay, so this is one of the change rooms. There's two, obviously. And you got a few lockers there. And then the stairs go up to the bathroom area and the showers. Nothing to see up there, so I'm not going to bother going up there. But uh, let's go in and check out the gym. You guys are going to like the gym. Okay. It's a really big gym. This, eh? Okay, I think this might be the last floor. Let's just see here. Yeah, this is it. This is the last floor. This is a pretty big room right here. Whether it's a classroom or if it was a something else, it's a really big room. It's also got skylights. It does have a chalkboard, so it is, it is definitely a classroom.
Okay, we got one more rotation to do around the top floor. Oh, somebody has really good cursive handwriting. Oh, good job. Some old graffiti in here from the 1990s, 1980s. This place has been abandoned for so long that it's got graffiti and people signing the chalkboard from the 1980s. All right. Let's go back to the hallway. This is the library here. Okay, this next hallway we're about to turn down is probably one of my favorites because it has a skylight. It's the only hallway with a skylight. That's nice, eh? Look at this. Well, that's weird. This room has a door with windows, but there's nothing behind it. I wonder what the purpose of that was. That's weird. Okay, guys, that's a wrap on this one. So I'm hoping that by the time I get home and post this video, I'm able to get some history on this place. And if I haven't put it in the voiceover, then hopefully I was able to put it in the video description down below and find out for you guys how old this school is, when it closed, and what else we can tell you guys about it. So hope you guys have liked this one as much as I did. Probably one of my favorite types of places is these uh, abandoned places that have been like this for so long, full of decay and all kinds of cool stuff to see. So you guys know what to do. Please help me out here. Like the video, drop me a comment down below, share the video if you can. And if you're here for the first time and you like this video, subscribe, join this channel, see what else I got to offer. Lots of stuff to come. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.